All right, guys, it may not look like it, but we are in heaven. Well, not quite. We're on the disc side of heaven, <laughs> getting ready for the Play It Again Sports Jonesboro Open presented by Westside. Dude, I feel like every tournament this season is just a mouthful. Like, every, every tournament name is just... Getting longer and longer. That's good. I mean, if we, if we want more money in the game, we need more sponsors. And I saw... That's true. It's true. There's an like actual person sponsoring an event later in the season. Oh, it's wow. just a guy's name, which is... <laughs> I don't think we've seen yet. So that's, cool. that's sick. That's sick. I'm here with Connor. As you guys can tell, Brody is uh, in Texas for the week trying to get prepared for the next little stretch. So he's not with us. Connor, we got the front nine on, uh, on your channel. Make sure you guys head over to that before you watch the back nine. He's been putting out content all season long. You do mostly a lot of practice rounds. Yeah, got a lot insight. of practice rounds. Okay. Got some tips and stuff here and there. Uh, but yeah, practice rounds are going to be the bulk of what you see. But uh, yeah, comment on that front nine. Other type of videos you might want to see. There you go. Yeah, he's got really good insight, as you'll see in this back nine. And uh, it's nice to get some refreshing takes, too. I think Brody and I play kind of the same game a lot of times. So it's nice to see some different lines. Another thing, we got the sun about to disappear. The moon's going to come in front of it. We got the eclipse today. Might be kind of weird. It's feeling kind of, I, I don't know if hopefully it's placebo, but it's feeling a little electric in the air. So we'll see how it goes. Hole number 10. Let's see what Connell's got to say about it. Let's get right into it. The sun gazers far and near have gathered here to hold 10. Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> this used to be hole 18 at the this side of heaven. A daunting par four plays down into a valley then slowly rises up on the second portion. We've got a barbed wire fence on the left as long as a kind of overhanging canopy line that's gonna be out of bounds. And then there's a snaking out of bounds line on the right to deal with. Some players will just take a massive hyzer, especially in this right to left crossing wind. Try to get anywhere out there in the open. A lot of players are gonna play up the gut, some kind of flex straight line. Not really sure how I wanna play it today. Let's see, we got I'm guessing Ezra's probably taking Heiser in this win, but I don't know. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I'll probably do both, but yeah, I mean, I might go roll or two. You know, definitely check out the front yeah. nine, guys. We got some pretty fun lines big, to check out. Big some roller, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take, I'll go traditional for you guys. Up the gut with the Wrangler here. Try to put a touch of turn on it, but not too much. <laughs> oh, this might be perfect. If I can beat, beat those limbs. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's so nice. That's going to be in body, body range, potentially. All right, this is so more. tough. You need a good tee shot like that. Dragonite Warbird. <laughs> Big crush. Don't forget to grunt it out. Extra distance. Hey! Dude, I want to do a video sometime where we have a speed gun and we test to see how much speed increased or decreased there is with, uh, with the grunt. Fairway hit. Nice <laughs> shot. No, that's a good, that's a good video. I think... Uh, Ezra's always coming up with the funny videos, and that would be a good one, I think. I don't know if you guys watched his one-foot fairway, but that was pretty, hey. pretty funny. Well, you know, my life's a joke, so we got to try to make some funny content. <laughs> I think it'd be fun, though, you know, have you on a goose grunt sometimes, get him on, probably get Anthony, just because, I mean... Conrad's one of the original grunters, you know? That's but, true, yeah. yeah. See what kind of damage Anthony can do. Ah, I don't know I just, if we need that. <laughs> I don't know if the world needs that, Ezra. Don't, don't bring <laughs> Anthony. We can't tell him about the power that's of the grunt. That's true. He's, he's doing just fine with that. He's got enough. Him. All right, I'm going to go spike high. Uh, the wind this weekend is supposed to be pretty dramatic. I think maybe all three days or definitely the weekend at least. So I think it's going to be right to left, tailwind maybe. So I think the hyzer will play. See if he can maintain the height here. All right, well, I didn't quite get long enough to go past that second bunker, but might have a look. I'm going to go up the middle too just because... If I do throw a good one, I can post it to Instagram, and that's the main thing. You gotta cross-pollinate the uh, social medias. Ezra's a businessman. He knows how to <laughs> well, hedge practice. his bets. It's good practice, too, you know? Yeah. Oh. Smashed. Wow, y'all. If that's in bounds, that is... Follow actually, me on wheels. Follow me on Instagram wheels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This hole's more important to not bogey than it is to, uh, to body, I feel like, so. Back. Especially especially since it's like the middle of the course now, hole 10. Yep. This was such a good hole 18. Such a good hole 18. But it was. Changes always uh, bring mixed feelings. I think I the think, course will play well, I'll say though, this. But. I think one of the main disappointing things about having major course changes like this, too, is that it kind of takes away some of the prestige of an event a little bit. It's hard to have, like, the built-up history of a course when they reroute things or change stuff all the time. So I feel you kind of lose that, to where you have, like... The masters in golf 
has been the same for forever, and so that kind of builds excitement. To where now it's like a whole new course, it's like it feels like a new event almost. So that's a good point because you you have emotions attached to each hole. You right. have it's uh, like oh what happened on the 16th? Yeah. yeah, it's like sure. oh he's going to come down to 18. Like anything can happen. What's it going to be? So it loses a little bit of that, but the sport's still young, so we got time, I guess. Y'all are here because you know Ezra's full of insights, and that's why I'm here too. Hey, not good ones. I'm not not good ones for me, but that's why we got Connor on. <laughs> All right, Connor, obviously, perfectly in the middle of the fairway. This is the upshot. I ended up in this bunker. I'm not going to throw from here because it's way too difficult. I need to get full to left off the tee box and actually get into the fairway, but... Are you going to play the second one? I'll or... play the second one, okay. yeah. It's a little more, a little more enjoyable. I'm trying to phone a friend, ask Ezra what he would do from here, and he just laughed at me. So. <laughs> well, it's like, <laughs> this is such a tough spot to be. It's like you threw a great tee shot, and you're honestly not left with a whole lot. The right side Heiser play is almost out of the question. Yeah. Uh, definitely out of the question. I think left side's probably the only opportunity you have of actually making a body, but it's really tough to get there. Backhand, it's going to get knocked. Forehand could walk, but I'd almost still be playing for Paul from here. Yeah, Maybe I'm throw gonna, a roller. I don't I'm know. Gonna try to birdie. I did think about the roller. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll, we'll go second shot roller. <laughs> like you'll be thinking about roller on every single shot now. <laughs> the foot nine. I'm going to go with my other Wrangler, try to put a holding turn on it. And like Ezra said, birdie is really a bonus from this position. If I can get a little bit more left, yep. then uh, I can really access the window more. Get lucky. Oh, that's a, yeah, I'll be lucky right there. Yep, that's a ball. Yeah, that's a tough spot. Actually, wait, I gotta throw a roller. Tumbleweed, see if I can manage this right to left. This might actually be like the best way to truly park it from here. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna be straight left OB. Oh yeah, bye bye. It's so tough with the, with the side wind on the roller because if you have too much cut like that, it goes straight left and if it has like too much angle the other direction, yeah, and I guess if, if it is cutting and, up the hill, it slows down, out. and then it's, yeah. It's really tough. I either want to have my hyzer come in front of this this big tree and land kind of over, let's see, let me see, right here, and then go up this right side or around this if the wind is conducive and end up up here and then also go up the right side. That's that's kind of how I feel like I can attack this whole full body. It's up the middle play. It's very aggressive, and uh, with this OB off to the left, pretty difficult. All right, this would be uh, pretty ideal. I push this OB left side. I'm way up on the hill. I'm going to go nebula. Kind of get close to the basket, hopefully. I don't know, Ezra. We had people were voting on who's the this and that on tour last oh, year towards the end of the year, and I saw people vote for me as the dad on tour. I don't know, Ezra. Hey. How do you feel about that? I think you're the daddy on tour. I took we, all, we all know it. We all know it. <laughs> Ezra knows, y'all. <laughs> oh boy. All right, I'm going D2 penny putter. I like to go to this disc when I need. Longer range jump putts because it'll kind of hold a straight line for me. <laughs> oh, what a nice layup, y'all. That's what we're here for. Perfect. Wraps around the Easy basket. Par. Just what you want. Like Ezra said, it's better to par than it is to fight too hard for the birdie and it mess is. it up. All right, here we go. A little putt ski action. Old hole 18. I will say, I think one of the one of the bad things about this being hole 18 is you can't really spectate at all. So like, that's one you know bonus for changing the course and having the, the new hole 18 be the be the actual hole 18. This is a great hole, but you can't you can't see the shots. So, all right, we got hole number 11 now, old hole one, kind of an epic hole one. I felt like you always had the grandstands behind. People got excited. You could park the hole. It's a beautiful fairway. It's only a par three, so that's kind of the only knock, but. It was a great hole one, but now as hole 11, 470 feet, it's right there. Let's just throw the shot. We got a nuke in our hand. A little bit of wind, as always in Jonesboro. Go in. Oh, oh my God. So and that's when everyone goes, woo, yeah. That's why it was a cool hole one, but now nobody's gonna be out here watching this. That would have been one of the coolest shots of the day, y'all. Y'all know the drill. drill. Going back to that Warbird. We do have a touch of wind off the right. We're accustomed to 20 mile per hour rippers on this one, so this is not too much. <laughs> too low, but I love the line. Can I get some skip? That's a good shot, dude. That might lift with the wind a little bit too. I'm just matching my shot from my fine. reel this morning, I guess, so whatever. Hey. Shallow C2, a little right to left. Let's go to the jumper. Putting V2 blue bonnets. I guess it's not a jumper, it's more of a hey. step through thing. I love that step, that like jump step putt though. 
But yeah, it's kind of what I've been trying to dial in. Me and Ezra were talking earlier. I think there are a lot of players right now who kind of abuse having their on foot be the jumping foot, and I don't think that's something we should be able to do. So I've tried to kind of prioritize learning how to jump, how to kind of step through with both feet. Right. You don't have to do too much different than your normal stroke, but you get a little extra power. Yeah, it does feel a little bit awkward with that off step, but it is necessarily not cheat. And just to call out some names, like I think the people on tour doing it the most is probably. Line what frame. That is what we want, baby. On to hole 12. Not everyone has the arm to go deep in hole one, but hole 12 used to be hole two. Par four, 820 feet. There's kind of this faux left side over here, which actually looks better and better each year with the clearing, but it's still, I feel like it almost adds distance to the hole. They do show it as an option on the tee side, but I've never seen a player actually play down that way. Most guys taking this right side and choosing whether they want to play low through the gap or play higher through the gap, which tightens the gap up, but also allows you to get a little further. Second shot is up the hill, so getting distance off this tee comes at a premium if you want a birdie. I'm gonna go Warbird. And with this headwind, I think I'm liking the low line today, hmm. hoping that I can keep it up enough to get some of that late push that the headwind will offer. Little flat, but when you're throwing a Warbird, you always know it's gonna fade. Yeah, dude, nice shot. Take it. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I guess you already said everything. Perfect. <laughs> this is nice. Uh, I did. Ezra hated my whole breakdown. He can do no, it. Just, he can I do just, it. So. See, my <laughs> mind doesn't work, guys, so I just scramble. <laughs> I did go left side one time a few years ago, trying to test it out. Lost the disc, then we got it back. So, <laughs> there you go. I like the right side. side. I'm glad Ezra had a left side story. <sighs> Ooh, that looks. Wow. It's also good to note that we got headwind. Connor also said, so I should I should have been taking notes personally. <laughs> Beef it up a little bit with the stability. Got a little Just like there. that, guys. That's why I always aim for the narrowest part of the gap. <laughs> we're trying to we're trying to improve our skills out here, not just throw good shots. Practice is for getting better. Exactly. Got a little bit of a decision here. Huh? Yeah, I push this one a touch right where I'm almost in that range of being able to take the wide hyzer, especially since we have a helping wind. Mm. I'm gonna try one up the gut though, since this will likely be how I gotta play it. Charlie Wrangler here, hoping to hold a touch of turn. Underneath that, oh wow. Uh, I need my straighter Wrangler that I lost somewhere yesterday, so hopefully I can find that later on the course. I'm gonna try one more. That is the danger. Well, I'm yeah, I don't, that doesn't have the energy. It's a safe way to get it up there, but yeah, I'm up the gut guy, you know, yeah. traditional. I'm a course designer's dream. I'm gonna play the hole how you told me to, most likely, <laughs> until someone shows me something better. Well, uh, I don't quite have that Conroe Riley height, so I, <laughs> seeing the basket is kind of tough for me, but I'm 315 feet out. I was able to catch the band uh, uphill. I'm gonna try to go nebula, kind of flippy, and try to match this hill and then tone it up through that gap. Kind of and, a tricky upshot. You know, a sentiment multiple people have told me over the years about you is you're taller than they think. Oh. When they see you in person. Interesting, okay. That's because Brody's seven feet tall, so I just <laughs> look true. short compared to him. Yeah, Brody's my height, just... Yeah. He got some, some beef on me. Hey, Brody's got some beef on him too, though. He's, uh, he just tweeted today, Fat Brody joins tall today. He's going to try to lose the weight again. Love it. Last year he was looking... Good coming into the season, I remember. He so. was, yeah. He let himself go, though. No, no just being, being consistent. I'm sure he'll, he'll bounce back into it. I'm gonna try this forehand line. You know, I hear people, sometimes people say that I look big on Paulson and small on Paulson. I feel I hear it both, so. Yeah. It's all perspective, you know. Everyone's perspective is different. There is a sneaky left side, forehand gap. Let's see if I can hit it with this. So the camera really just shrinks everyone together. You can see a card full of players six foot to six four on camera and they're all gonna look about the same. Exactly. Depending on who's standing where and then you get in person like, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, that's why I like to stand on the tall ground. See, like, look how much I have to look down to see Connell, you know, just the angle of attack, y'all. He's truly calculating all he does. I'm starting to think he might be actually the Terminator. How else could he maintain muscles like that and never get tired? I don't know, y'all. I wish I was a Terminator. All right, we got a little step putt action, y'all. But from this day, uh, I'll step putt it, I guess. It's been feeling good. Bang. I'll be back. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. There it is. It's how much time do we have? Get your eclipse glasses out, y'all. We got 50 <laughs> minutes until totality, and we are you're seeing a little bite taken out by the moon. 
Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I think later, guys, we're gonna have to play a hole with these things on. Let's see. All right, I feel way too cool in these things. <laughs> I feel like only super cool people wear these. Look at the sun. That actually is pretty cool. It's like a little Pac-Man guy out there. No, yeah, it's cool. Not a Pac-Man. A cookie with a bite bitten out of it. And Jamar, we just buried somewhere up there. Hole 13, 435 feet. OB left side. Is that why that. they call you the weatherman? Because you always let people down, Ezra. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm my bad. Keep going. <laughs> that was savage, y'all. I'm sorry. It's true, I do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this in the basket just to not let people down. <laughs> For the first time in my life. No, I let I let the schwalt. See, and here it is again, just letting people down. Look at this. <laughs> Terrible, y'all. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I, I I try my best, and it's just not enough. Ezra making that one look really easy, and I'm gonna be a broken record with my disc choice, probably. You know what though? Sometimes it's nice to just get into a groove with one disc. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean you, if we don't have trust the whole round. certain shapes you gotta throw, and you got options, and you're trying to hit something over 400, then. Oh my god, I just put no turn on it though. That's gonna be OB unless I hit a house. Oh, I actually did. Speaking of houses, man, have you been in this area left of us? So nice. Bro, Huge, there's a yeah. golf course over here and some of these houses are ridiculous. I never knew it until I was driving through the other day. I mean, I, to be fair, I live out of my car and you know, Connor lives out of his van, so like, we all probably the best people to talk <laughs> nice to as far as nice houses <laughs> nice go, houses. but we see a rough, we no, see a I house on like the rough, we're like, whoa. The size of these sweet. ones for the price point is probably some of the best in the US too, I yeah. bet. It's, which I guess makes sense, like, if you have a kind of a crappy location, yeah. you can get a nice house for not ex expensive. We love you, Jonesboro. We do love Jonesboro. Ooh, a little Wrangler See, at straight this. at it. That was better, that was better. Maybe I should play that if there's no, no wind. A shot. Yeah, good luck with no wind, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got the adjustment a little bit closer with the Wrangler. I'll probably go Wrangler if it's low wind, but... Like Ezra's been alluding to, we ain't gonna get that this weekend, so... Nope. Got a question for you, Connor. Yep. I feel like you might know. What's that uh, Mojo riser thing? Mojo riser. Disc golf bag goes here. I'm very confused. Is that a water bottle? No free ads on the next or is hole. Is that a? Is I have that a no pump idea. To pump up your Mojo on the side there. I don't it know, looks man. like a like a table saw. I don't know <laughs> what. With a with a boxing bag. I don't know what it is. I guess it's a some kind of a bag stand. And I don't know. Huh. I don't know what this pump thing on the right is. You guys let us know in the comments. Do you know anything about the Mojo riser? Does it raise your Mojo? Oh. You pump it up, you know, I don't know. I suppose. Hole 14, par five, 855. This is one of the iconic holes out here. It used to be hole 16. Blast Such a good shot. hole 16, I thought. What? Such a good hole 16. It was, it was. Because it coming down the stretch, you know, some guys will get that three, a lot of birdies, but there was also room for danger. Uh, and it made you make decisions. And I think par fives allow players to play holes in a lot of different ways throughout the course of a weekend, which can lead to some entertaining shots. Mm. Key on this drive, not only to get a lot of distance, but to work your way left because that opens up the hyzer line into the basket. And if you don't do that, then you might have to position yourself with a layup or just going high over the right side trees. But ideally, you can get left of that little oak tree way out there. This is Founder's Bayonet, a little hyzer out of the hand. <coughs> Hoping I can get a big skip there. Ooh, that was oh, a nice good lift. lift. Good lift. Yes, good skip. Now go. Okay, that's gonna be it a might be falling off. weird position. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna try for the same same uh, ideology here. Yeah, it's got more hyzer, a lot of energy to get that skip. Oh, the big skip, that's gonna be great. Should be all right. I might be a little bit left, but if not, I might be primo. You know what, guys? I'm happy with this. I'll take this. It's a little skippy. They, they cut the, the grass short, which I like. It looks good aesthetically. It also allows for more of a skip. I'm right on the edge of this tree. I can just kind of go spike high as well. They have moved the OB past the green tight all this season, I believe. It's about circle two now, and those OB left and then right as well. So it is a little bit more difficult of yeah, an approach shot. you can't just throw it into the spectators anymore. <laughs> I love that though. I did, I love that. But I'm gonna go spike high with my uh, two wall shoes nuke here and see if we can get close. Oh, fade for me though. Get over that tree. Oh yeah, high side, probably 30 feet or so. That'll be an eagle putt. I, I need to throw a little bit more stable or a little bit more high zone to keep it left, but safe is safe and I'm happy with it. Dang, dude, kind of yeah. behind the kind of behind the wall spot. Pretty tough spot, got the good distance that I needed, but you gotta finish a little bit more left like we were talking about. If you can be 
on the right side of this tree, which is the left side, then you're in prime position. I'm gonna have to go kind of spiking Annie. I think I'm gonna Still try going it. for the green from here. We gotta go for the green. We're here wow. for you guys. Hey. The layup doesn't feel right. Um, a man of the people. So I'm going tumbleweed. Test cameraman's abilities, see if we can hold the turn. Big mistake, big mistake. Wait. Oh, that's gonna be so far down. Too low. Oh my God. Oh, I'm a genius. I kind of caught that at the very end too. I thought that was way overturned, but it got there, y'all. Let's go. That might be a putt. That was sweet. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What a shot. And somehow I tracked it kind of decent through the tree. I matched the speed and the timing. That's just That's knowledge of physics it. right there, you know? He didn't actually see it. He just understands the flight. You know me, man. Just a big college guy, you know? <laughs> big college guy. <laughs> I did throw a second tee shot off camera. Went for the straight shot. I got past the tree and I skipped way left. So now I have a forehand approach if I want it, which I'm going to go for. Wait, should I? Yeah. This is pretty good. filthy spot. Spike right forehand. Either way, we kind of walk. This is this is a pretty good tee shot. Actually, the basket right there through the trees. Is it far enough? Nope. Bad shot. Bad tee shot. That sky Annie ended up safe. Insane. Tumbleweed sky Annie. All right. I have another one of these kind of restricted height window putts. Got to fire it in there. Maybe tickle some of these branches. Can't let Ezra down. We gotta get this eagle frame. Oh my gosh. Somehow slipped it just past the branches. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Pressure's on easy now. Nice putt, yeah, I guess. <laughs> this is what I need. Oh I needed a practice round with a top tier player coming off podium finish, you know, Thanks rubbing you off on me. Thanks, Ezra. Appreciate that, dude. We try to make each other better, you know what I mean? <laughs> that Sky Annie plays, I don't even know if I have, have the balls to do that. So that's pretty cool to see. We got the eagle look as well. Two ways to do it, traditional and a little crazy. Couple of eagles, baby. So in preparation for the eclipse, which is happening in about 30 minutes, we're gonna play hole 15 with the solo eclipse glasses on. We have a 315 foot pole three, island green, water short, OB long and everywhere else. Um, also, I can't see anything out of these. So I can see my hands because I can see out the bottom, but I can't see anything, it's pitch black. Maybe we can get, can we get, uh, <laughs> Kyle's got his on. Can we get a, a visual here? Let's see what happens if I put these. See how it's pitch black? Yeah, you can't see anything, y'all. All right, this is gonna be tough. A little peak, all right. I don't know, I don't know if we agreed to peaks, y'all. That was, <laughs> what? That was questionable peak. All right, I, need to throw. I think I need to throw it right here. I got a little bit of the helping wind, y'all. <laughs> Come on. No. Oh, wide. Ezra's echolocation skills. He's not a robot. It's it's confirmed. He is not the Terminator. I'm not a bat. Like, yeah. <laughs> not a bat. Forehand going chupacabra. I'm not, I'm not gonna take a peek look. You know, I'm just gonna kind of. Oh wow. Okay. I'm just gonna I like this. See the tee box below me. Kind of try to figure out if it's angled in the right direction or not. And wow. the height of this shot is gonna be, I think the. I really, like the commitment. The hard spot. The hard thing is the height. All right. I gotta see if I get the height right. Alpha choop. Easy. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's gone, right? Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Let's oh. go. He made it with the glasses Jared stole as my witness. Oh, my gosh, Bubba. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Couldn't see a thing, Jared. What do you think, man? That was impressive. That was I impressive. thought I sawed it off out of the hand. I'm like, that's gone. I thought mine was good, and I'm way left. So we were just, this tee box is deceptive. Good thing the Chupacabra fades vertically. It's so overstable. We'll go one more with the uh, Tour Series Penny Putter just to go. plug it. Handles any angle. Wow, it's so much easier when you can see the basket, huh? Not really. Oh! It's actually a lot harder. <laughs> Dang. Put the glasses back on, put the glasses back on. All right, well guys. This thing is max destruction, minimal retrieval, but nah, I'm just a noob with it. There you go. Guys, there this is, is why you always throw with the Eclipse glasses on, so you don't throw shots, OB. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we're there. There she is. Hey, you got it back. Guys, it's kitten. Better than swimming. It is, it's starting, it's... It is getting dark. It, it's like, you can feel the, yeah, it's just it's like... It's weird. A very subtle, like, shadowy feel to the whole atmosphere right now. It's getting close. It's like you just walked into Mirkwood. Gandalf just left your party. You don't have the magic with you anymore. Right. Reality's setting in. Orcs are closing in around you. Still gotta make a point. We gotta look for birdie, though. This was with the Eclipse glasses on. If I get this, probably the best Eclipse glasses player of Choosing all time. Choosing not putt with the glasses on, though, is a questionable one. 
You're 100% right. I gotta keep you honest, man. If I wanna be the best Eclipse glasses player of exactly. all time, then I have to cement the, the legacy right now. Exactly. I'm gonna take one peek. All right, one peek. One, one peek. peek. I love, hey, the peak is huge. Well, I won't be, so. Oh, God. I don't know how much that's gonna help, though. Yeah, trust the feels. Trust the stroke. Oh, good height. Wow. Phil, but he Phil, missed. The release Phil, fell, no. timing wise, normal. All what? right, all right, on to the next. <laughs> All right, before we jump into this next hole, I want to see if I can point the camera at the sun. So I'm going to turn the NDs way up and see if we can give you guys a glimpse. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. Some eclipse action, even though uh, it's not actually not showing. Really. It's just showing a glare, not really Go showing. Go back to auto. Exactly. That's not. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> we tried, folks. Hole 16, let's get into it, Connor. We'll pull two of the lenses out, tape them together, put them over that one. That would be perfect. Go. All right, hole 16. Used to be hole 8 or something like that. Par four, 675, doesn't look like anything's changed off the tee, but as you get up there, the left side of that big tree in the middle of the fairway that kind of split the fairway in the past is now out of bounds. Wow. So you got to play it off to the right and then play a more traditional gap shot coming into the green. We still have this weird springboard plywood that- She's bouncy. I'm worried as we have three straight days of rain, someone's going to fall through this, <laughs> this thing, but make sure I lose about a half pound every day this week, so I'm not the one to do it. You know what I'm saying? Bayonet. Hey! Smashed. Nice little flip up. Should be ideal. Yeah, that'll play. Nice shot. I love the change on this hole. I think adding that OB changes this hole completely because everyone was pretty much going up to that left side since it opened up the green, the approach to the green. So now forcing people to the right side makes that second shot more difficult and should really change a lot of things. Yeah, I agree. Great changes here. And also, like, I think it's going to be important to try to kind of push that tee shot up to that left side to still get to where you kind of have an opening. If you get too far right, that shape to get into the green is kind of tough, so. Yeah, if you can still hug it left, you will have options into the green. If not, you're going to be forced into that low ceiling backhand. Yeah, for sure. Ezra's far enough up, he doesn't really have this tree pinching the forehand line, so he can play the stall forehand if he wants. For me, though, I don't really like the way that it's shaped, so I'm going to play mm. Chupacabra into this low gap on the right side. There's one tree that kind of breaks into three trees right there, about 20 feet right of the basket, that if you can beat that on the long side, you did your job. Oh, I think so beefy. Get lucky. Oh. Huh. Yeah, you can just saw it off and maybe get fortunate, but we're going to see a lot of putts from that tree line. Kind of tricky backyard putts, but I've already had to throw like six window putts, so <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be stoked with this tee shot. I'm gonna go left side, I'm gonna go Nuco S because I want the skip and I want to play this as wide as I can. So I'm gonna throw it kind of at that OB line left and hopefully like a little skip around the, around the tree line. Oh, this might be, oh, it's so deep, I think. Oh, hold on. Look at that big brain with the big oh. skip, wide rim. Love Just because I have a big brain doesn't mean it's uh, full of anything useful, but sometimes we can pull off a decent shot. It knows how to disc golf at least. Yeah, not quite the backyard putt we're looking for. This I'm fence is... <laughs> I'm gonna take my flip here, and it's gonna be like a. I kind of forced into like the Matteo chest putt on this one almost. Good thing this event's sponsored by Westside, so there's a little bit of extra Matteo love going on out here. Yeah. Mm. No. That's yeah, this this fence I feel like doesn't necessarily uh, need to exist, but I'm not sure. I think now with the OB there, I I kind of agree with you. Yeah. You know, let me get to a knee here and try to fire one in normal. Right. Plus, but, I feel like it would open up this right side gap a little bit more to a more viable option. You could maybe clean up some of these trees a little bit. Yeah, less luck involved, more of a clean way to get through. I like that. Yeah. Guys, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but it is, it's getting dark. Like Connor just said, it's, uh, it feels like it's smoky, but yeah. it's, it's not. It's just, it's just, it's a real darkness too. It's not like uh, nighttime. It's definitely different. Yeah, the eclipse really is something very unnatural and in the way it creates like a double shadow if some of you guys go outside right now, even though it's already over. But you go outside in 2054 or whenever the next one is, you'll see like a double <laughs> shadow. <laughs> all right, see if you guys can see, but all the shadows are like becoming crescents like the moon or like the sun. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't think, like, why would that happen? I don't know. Yeah, the way the light is bending, it's kind of beyond my uh, physics knowledge. Or yeah. I guess, is that, yeah, I think that is. Is it physics or just Is not? light, is the principles of light physics, Space you guys? Let us know. Knowledge. <laughs> we throw frisbees for a living, so look, we all, we all paid to be intelligent. All right, here at hole number 17, we have the OTB hole with the OTB elevated basket at the end. We have a 660 foot pole four. We have OB off on the right side now, which is a change for this season, which I like. I always did go off that right side because it was the easiest shot, but they made it OB, which that has improved the hole. OB left 
as well. You have a really low ceiling uh, out the gate for the tee shot. So I think you'll see a lot of playoffs either throw kind of a low backhand to try to get underneath it. Or you might even see, even see some rollers, which can get way up the fairway. I'm going to opt for a Venom up the, up the middle, which is also an OTB disc, which you can get on otbdisc.com. See if we can get under this branch. Oh. Ezra kind of is the kind of the original OTB guy. His first year on tour, he had OTB as his primary sponsor, and he Heck yeah. made it known. I, I was one of the earlier players with them too, and I think both of us, after we throw our regular shot, are gonna have to honor OTB with a little yeah. CTP roller challenge because that's go. You know, I think what what better way to honor OTB than throw only the best roller possible? I'm gonna go back to the Warbird. If you can get out to that red stake or anywhere around that. Yeah, and I like the little stability too. Yep. To what does Being left isn't terrible. Yeah. Wait. My eclipse alarm is going nice. off, y'all. We're getting close. And yeah, that's that little bit of extra left, but that's I should just fine. Have, yeah. I also like picking a disc that can't go OB long, which it's tough to do with an L shot either way. We got, got tumbleweed. Minutes. Tumbleweed. You can, you can right. probably find one at otbdisc.com. And if you like throwing long rollers that go further than Ezra's, you're going to want to pick one up right now. Jeez. I love the smack dog. You can use code Ezra or code Connor at OTB. Save yourself some money. Free shipping. Let's Not go. sure which one saves you more, but you'll have to go look. <laughs> Try them both out on set foot waddles. <laughs> Ooh, if this can stand up on its face. Oh, it might. It will. Come on. Let's go. All right, that's going to be hard to beat from Ezra. He's oh, going to have to. That's a great shot. Oh, I just wrapped a little candy cane. Wow. All right. Yeah, I need a good one now. You gotta keep it in balance, that's the stipulation. I love how you say that after you threw it, you know? <laughs> I just figured, that's that you big know. brain move. It's getting dark <laughs> quick now. It's really starting to happen. We gotta hurry, we gotta get to our penultimate hole with the eclipse All happening. Right, here we go, I'm going Scorch. Throw the Scorch. Blade stand the up! Blade. Stand up! Oh, if that stands, he's gonna have me, y'all. I'm going OB though, I think, Connor. Oh my gosh, he's out of bounds, out of play. I'm going OB, y'all. All right, Connor, we're champion. Code Connor. Use code Connor to be the side count to get free shipping on the next one. All right, guys, it's getting close, y'all. We're getting close with this eclipse. It's getting dark quick. And I was just thinking, like, imagine if you didn't know it was coming. You know, it's out in the middle of the day. And yeah, it was I like, would think oh, the, the sky's falling. The world is ending. 100%. You would. I can see why people would think that. 100%. It might be. This I might think be. the meteor just struck somewhere, and we have the second coming of the Ice Age or something. All right, I got about 280 in. I'm gonna go. This is starting to feel like the disc side of hell real quick, honestly, with this darkness. <laughs> 100%. I can't even like see where I'm trying to throw, I feel like. It looks so bright on this camera, though. It's a great shot, dude. Thank you. My roller was inbounds. That was the stipulation. Wow. You know, calculated. I got too aggressive. Tumbleweed. <laughs> well, it feels like night is falling, but it's not, you guys. We are just... <laughs> this is crazy. We've had total some... total solar had... eclipse. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God, I think this is it. Oh my gosh. Look at the Yo, sun, dude. What the... Okay, okay, let me. Holy crap, I can see it right now with my bare eyes. <laughs> I'm taking a picture of my phone. Oh my, oh my gosh, let me. Bro! Y'all, this is wild. That We're is out so here cool. Filming our YouTube round in a freaking total eclipse. What? Holy the crap. <laughs> so cool. Is it nighttime? No, it's 156. That is insane, bro. And you can film the sun with your phone and look at it with your eyes. That is unreal. Wow. Dude, that's so cool. That's insane. That that is way cool. That's cool than I expected it to be. Oh, uh, by the way, my tour series disc actually glow in the dark. I didn't think oh, I'd good. get the time to show that. Isn't uh, that uh, convenient? Yeah, you know, that, yeah, yeah. Film Ezra's shot. Tragedy. And I would take this tee shot. Oh, this is amazing. If you beat the 250 stake in, you're cooking with oil, as they say. All right, we're gonna skip the putts. Let's go to hole 18. We are in the totality of the eclipse, still, y'all. So cool. And we're here on the new hole 18, a daunting par three. We're here, hole 18, final hole of our round. Tough par three, 495. You probably can't even see what's going on that much right now, but you're gonna be familiar with this hole. Aggressive shot up the middle to score with OB surrounding the basket, cutting you off short as well. You gotta pretty much fly to circle's edge short to get there. It's over. And the sun's coming back. Oh my gosh. Full shot, full shot. <laughs> Hurry up. All right, I'm going bayonet. I'm gonna play it aggressive. It's morning time. Oh, keep it on the basket. That's going in. Oh, oh, it stayed right. Ob, just barely. What a shot! Though. This is so weird to experience, y'all. That's crazy. Four minutes every fifty years or whatever it is. That's so cool. That was really cool. I hope, I hope you people back home got to see the uh, got to see that in real time. Like in 
in real life, actually. I'm gonna go spike highs on, try to get down. Yeah, I was kind of wondering why people would travel out of state to come see something like that, but after experiencing Zoom it, on the basket. it's real. Eclipse Baldy, baby. Looks like Ezra got there. Wow. I can understand why people think it's the end of the world when that happens. It's like before, honestly, if I didn't know that was happening, that would before be the Before the spread of information ever. like we have today, it's... Like, if you, imagine 2,000 years ago, you don't know, like, about, like, planets or whatever. Because if it stayed, it like, oh it my stays gosh. like that, Earth would be dead, you know? There's no... There's no... <laughs> people would be freaking out, bro. <laughs> they did clean this, this tree up a lot, I feel like, right? They kind of, I did, it seems like that middle gap, like, straight shot, is a lot more enticing this season. So I think I what we throw it enough might... last year to really, yeah, to Right. Know. I mean, I think a lot of people will still just throw a spike high chip and try to play the safe three. But it being hole 18, like, things could happen. So I'm going to go up and go up the middle, try to get a little bit of a flex out of this venom and see if I can get, get to the basket uh, up this way. It's kind of cool. It was actually not only super dark, but super quiet. You could hear all the animals kind of stop chattering. And then now that the sun's back out, they're back alive. And Ezra just put it up Venom, there. baby. Hey, man, don't tease me with a good eclipse. I'll, I'll start throwing some good shots. <laughs> Uh, this is the drop zone. If you do end up going OB on the tee shot, this is what people will be throwing from, which is a pretty, pretty runnable up shot. Go in. I was gonna try to give us a bid. Oh, oh. my goodness, he caught metal. I've been dialed with those toss ins recently, yo. Kind of tee shot just a bit wide. My tee shot on the spike high saw, oh. about four inches short. That's pretty disappointing. My venom, though, it is safe. So I've got a long bid here for the elusive hole 18 body. That up the middle play is uh, it's enticing, but it's so dangerous, so. That does it, guys. Discs out of heaven. Jonesboro Open presented by, oh, play it against Waltz. Jonesboro Open presented by Westside. Tune in to DGN this whole weekend. Hopefully catch Connor and I on some lead called action. Hopefully yep. the final day. Um, it's been fun, man. Enjoyed, been. enjoyed filming as always. Absolutely. Make sure you guys check out Connor on all of his social medias. He's been doing a lot of YouTube content, Instagram. Follow him below in the links and then subscribe to this channel as well. That'd be great. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. Thanks to OTB and everyone who supports us. And thanks to you guys for also supporting us with your viewership. Hopefully the entertainment value makes it worth it, you know? Yeah, so and thank you for the sun and the moon for showing up today in a big way. That was Absolutely. Sweet. So cool. <laughs> Check us out in the next one. Peace, y'all.